What's up, what's up? AP here, Dope Themes Comics. Glad you guys are still watching. Thank you for coming back. Today we are featuring part four of our video tutorial on miniatures, and that is going to be miniature artifacts. Now, what is an artifact? That's a good question. If you're not familiar with the Dope Fiends comics, these are the objects in our miniature conservatory that are basically like museum exhibits. Uh, I actually have a list here that I made of some uh, types of magical artifacts. I'm going to go over this really quick. Like an idol, or a mech arm, a staff, uh, a little Zek scorpion, a uh, clock, a uh, sword or a dagger, a uh, potion bottle, uh, fuses, lamps, uh, like genie lamps, not like you turn on the light lamp. Um, Vases, I uh, wanted to try and make a cybernetic head in a jar or a uh, war gauntlet. Things that uh, have magical properties that come from the personality of the user of those objects. So if you look at the Dope Fiends comics, you have characters like Wide Awake who has his stuffed monkey and that's one of his favorite objects in the whole world. He fills that literally with his heart and soul. It's not like a horcrux, it's not gonna keep him alive, but his life, his energy goes into that object. And then of course, whenever he needs more life or more energy, if he's battling or casting a spell or doing something that requires a significant more amount of energy than his body possesses, he's able to withdraw again from that uh, cachet. So, the artifact that I'm going to build for you today is this mech arm. Uh, it's like of a robot. It's made entirely out of paper. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The tools and materials we're going to need for assembly of this project include several sheets of 8.5 by 11 inch printer paper, a soda straw, a thin wooden shish kebab skewer, a hole punch, an awl punch with hammer and cutting board, some scissors, some glue, a straight edge, and also not shown, a pencil. These are the individual pieces we're going to need to make in order to assemble our paper mech arm. To begin with, start with an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of printer paper folded into half lengthwise. And then fold it into half widthwise. When you're sure of your creases, go ahead and tear it into quarters. We'll need to make three sizes of paper rolls. Here at the Dope Fiends Comics, we're obviously pros when it comes to rolling papers. But unless you're Snoop Dogg or Tommy Chong, you might want to use your skewer to start the pin roll. You want to roll this as tightly as possible, and then at the end, lay down a small layer of glue and glue it tight. Next, to make the finger roll, use the inside of the soda straw. Once your paper roll is inside, mark it with a pencil and then pull it back out, roll it snugly, and use a layer of glue to glue it in place. Your finger roll should still fit smoothly inside of the soda straw. To create an arm roll, use the outside of the straw, rolling the paper snugly and using a thin line of glue to glue it in place. Be sure that the finger roll still fits inside of your arm roll. Now, use scissors and cut your arm roll into the lengths desired for your arm. 
Use the alt punch and hammer to make pin rolls through the arm rolls. Then, pin them together using the pin roll. That'll help you make a joint. Wink, wink. Now, insert the finger roll into the arm roll and pin them together. Then, insert the other end of the finger roll into the arm assembly and create a swivel joint. Repeat this process for each finger and thumb. You can also trim the corners of the arm roll a little to facilitate finger articulation. To create the arm's armor, I used the origami techniques shown here. I'd like to be more specific about which folds I used, but honestly, I was just kind of riffing. You're going to need two shoulders that are identical, an elbow, with a flip blade,
and wrist armor for the forearm of your arm. When you're done, use the all punch to create holes to add the armor to the pin rolls. So once it's complete, your arm should be pretty functional. All the fingers can move, your thumb, it's articulated. Uh, this guy even has like a little blade out here on the elbow so he can uh, pop that out and oh, stab somebody. Uh, all that remains is to paint it and then it comes out looking something like this. And everything is articulated fully. Origami elbow spike. And there you have it. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time. There's a lot of other types of artifacts, so I'll probably be getting around to some other tutorials in the near future. But I hope that you enjoyed this, and please go check out our Amigurumi web series in your dreams. We'll see you there.